In this video, we're going to be drawing a six-point perspective drawing using a compass and a straight edge to draw as many of the lines as we can, uh, to be as precise as we can. To start off, you need the six-point structure um, to draw into, and you can go back to video one and draw one for yourself, or you could just trace one of these three. Okay, to try to make things a little more clear, I have transferred our construction onto a new piece of paper, only taking what we needed with it. Uh, we've got the cone of vision, the circle where we're supposed to be looking that keeps us kind of centered where we're drawing. Uh, we have the three vanishing points where the drawing point of the compass will go, and the three bisecting lines, one, two, three, where the foot of the compass will go. Um, they're called bisecting lines um, because they are halfway in between the vanishing point pairs. Um, and right now we don't see the vanishing point pairs. We only see the, the central vanishing points, but they're there. So on the other side of this bisecting line, an equal distance away, arcs will meet at a second vanishing point way out here. So if this is representing down, which, uh, which it's going to today, then up will be about here. Okay, so um, let's start by putting our horizon lines in. Um, that one should be pretty easy because our horizons happen where the bisecting lines cross. So we put our foot at the intersection there and our drawing tip at, the, uh, at either of these vanishing points, and we draw our first horizon. Same thing for the other two. We put our foot on one vanishing, or where the bisecting lines cross. Our tip on a vanishing point. And the last one. Okay. Um, and as you see, we missed the vanishing point just a little. Um, and that's fine. Uh, we'll just redraw that guy. Think of him right there at the intersections. We got close enough. Things are working. Okay. So um, let's start. Start with kind of a, so if this is down, then this is the horizon of the globe. So above here should be sky, down here should be earth. And we're going to start with a vertical line that goes um, from the down vanishing point. So I'm putting um, my foot on the bisecting line that corresponds with the down vanishing point. And this is really close to that intersection, so it's going to be really close to that horizon. Okay. Um, unless I extend my paper, and have a huge um, compass. I can't draw using the compass in here, right? It just doesn't doesn't reach. There we go. See how these arc together and come back. So there's our up vanishing point. Um, there will be a straight line passing from the vanishing point through the center of vision that represents up and down. And so this area right here in the middle, I'm going to darken that. Is my, my no-go zone for my compass. Um, 
unless I extend the paper and that sort of stuff. But eventually you're going to get to a point that your compass just can't draw. So let's deal with that right now. Um, we could uh, use the flexible ship's curve and bend that nicely. The closer it is to that straight line, the more bend, the closer it is to there, halfway in between, and then kind of hold it down and and that makes it a nice little line. Um, or, honestly, we can just freehand it, which is usually what I do. I had to go hunting this curve up. Uh, I had misplaced it uh, months ago because I just I don't use it. Um, so, rotating the page so it's easier to do this arc. It's going to be cross our bisecting line at a 90 degree angle and it's going to meet here and there's our free hand arc okay here's the corresponding one right took me a couple tries to get her how i like it but that's fine okay so all of these lines represent verticals they are up and down in our world here. And I want to draw a box uh, kind of here-ish sitting on the ground, like a, a maybe able to become a building, maybe I don't know what, but for now it's just going to be a box. Um, so if I want the top of the box, um, to correspond with that vanishing point, I need to put the foot of my compass on that bisecting line, the tip on that vanishing point, and I draw that line. Move the foot out further, tip on the vanishing point, and I draw that line. So those are two parallel sides at the top of my box, top of my building. And I want the other two sides. So now I'm using this bisecting line. And I'm going to put my foot on the line, my tip on the vanishing point, and go out. And yeah, that's, I'd like it to be a little further down. So I'm going to move the foot. Readjust the tip. There we go. That's nice for the top of my box. And then the last side. See, that's. I want to draw way down here, which is going to be pretty close to straight, right? Um, oh, hey, look at this. It just is straight. There's uh, the center of vision. There's the vanishing point. Boom. That is just literally straight. Okay, so there's the top of our box. And we know our compass can't draw the verticals here, so I'm just going to freehand them in following the curves that we've already established. Now we need uh, the bottom of the box. So, since this has gone on the other side of that, where it goes to straight, our foot, instead of being down on this side, goes up here. And let's put our tip on the compass and see where we can draw. That's as far as we can draw, right? And I want it to be nowhere near that tall, so I'm going to freehand it again. And then finally, the last bit, last line to describe our box. And our compass can't do it. So let's take a look at where the straight line goes from that vanishing point 
through the center of vision. Okay, so this curve here is going to be halfway in between this curve and this straight line. And there we go. There is our first box in six point perspective. Okay, we're looking down at it. It's sitting on the ground. Uh, so let's let's give it a friend. I'm going to put another, I'm working on the base of a box that's a little behind this one. And let's, let's make it a little bigger than that. Okay, now our verticals. Let's, so this side here, we're going to, Go just a little off our paper to draw. There we go. And this one's going to be so tall that we're looking down at the bottom of it, but up at the top of it. Move it in a little bit to draw the far the next vertical. There we go, and um, how far did our green let us go? Out here, so we want the line that's halfway between this arc and this straight line. It's going to look a little something like that. And let's next do this top edge which is going to be really close to the horizon, right? So that means our foot's going to be really close to the point that drew the horizon. Just a little higher. Oh, hang on. I got myself confused. Yep. I don't want, I want that. Vanishing point. That's the one I was trying to draw. Silly me. There we go. Up there. And we'll put that edge just using this straight line. And now we need... Um, this edge here, which is going to be Oop, that misses. Move it in a little closer, adjust. That's so close. Move it in just a tiny bit. And there we go. And I'm going to put a little stripe at the top of our box here just for the fun of it. And see, it takes a while to dial in the right place and setting for your compass. Oops, moved the wrong direction there. All right, and let's put another box on the, I'm going to shade the side of that to help us see the space a little better. So I'm going to draw another box over here to show how much down we are looking.
So this is going to be the top of our building. Um, let's do the verticals next for the fun of it. So up and down. Yeah, further out. Even more further out. There we go. This side here. That's as far as I can draw. Staying on the page. I'm going to cheat it a little. Put my point off the page. And it doesn't actually buy me very much, but that's all right. Makes me happy. All right, so we've drawn the side of the building and two sides at the top of the building. Now we just need the remaining two sides. Ooh, hey, how's that for luck? That draws way up here. Yeah, can't quite get it, so I'm just going to freehand that last line. There's these arcs, this straight line. It's in between it. A little decoration on the top of the box. For the fun of it. And we can just keep going and adding all the shapes uh, that we want to have. All right, so there's our random little environment uh, drawn in six-point perspective. We're looking down at most things, looking down into this pit, down at the tops of these buildings, but we're looking up at these buildings here. Uh, if this is north and south is down here, and if that's north, then that makes this west, right, which makes that east over here. Here's down, and up here is up. There are six points, and there is the sort of by-the-book, step-by-step um, -step drawing um, lines using the compass in six-point perspective. Now, you're, as you saw, I did a lot of freehanding in here. You're no matter how big your compass is, at some time you're going to need to freehand it or use the, the ship's curve if you want um, to finish up your the gaps in your drawing where the compass can't reach. 
So it's never going to be a pure compass drawing. But um, how much you use the compass is sort of up to you, right? Where you're, how much precision you want, how much comfort you have with winging things by hand and getting close enough that it looks good. Because honestly, if it looks good, then it's fine. It's good. <laughs>